Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. I'm Storm Track 7 Chief Meteorologist Mark Schnackenberg. The wind that we had earlier today is gradually diminishing here this evening and will become light as the sun goes down and become non existent here later tonight. So the air will be calm. Then, as we get into the day tomorrow, a wind at about 5 to 10, maybe 15 miles per hour. Dry conditions as we head through the overnight hours, just a few high thin clouds, plenty of sunshine as we head through the day tomorrow. And then by evening, we'll start to see some clouds trying to pick up on maybe a sprinkle or spotty shower. Air, I think, is just too dry. I don't think we'll see anything. If we do, it is going to be just that, a couple of raindrops. And then by the time we get into Friday morning, we're back to sunshine. And as you can see, over the next seven days, we'll see dry conditions. And 10 days when you see the 10-day forecast. 40s for overnight lows tonight. Not as chilly. This morning we got down to the upper 30s and low 40s. We'll be in the middle to upper 40s. And then daytime highs tomorrow, 70s and 80s. And again, lots of sunshine expected. Here's a look at your city by city forecast. As we look towards Friday after the front passes by, we've got the temperature to drop off. So upper 70s and low 80s will drop down into the lower to middle 70s. And again, a lot of sunshine. As we look towards Saturday, that's when the heat is on, as well as the wind. Dry air in place, dry vegetation, nothing's really changed. So we'll probably have an elevated fire risk here on Saturday, probably on Sunday as well. There are starting to be come burn bans being issued for some counties in the area and with dry conditions all the way through next week. Probably more burn bans coming up. Temperatures will drop into the low 70s Sunday and Monday. Morning low, both those days, Monday and Tuesday morning, similar to this morning. Upper 30s to the low 40s. We'll have to watch to see uh, maybe a possibility of some frost a potential. We'll see how the wind is and the sky conditions. Uh, at the time and how long it remains clear, but something to watch over the next couple of days. And then we start to warm back into the low 80s here as we get into Wednesday, and it stays that way through the rest of the week, and overnight lows in the 40s to about 50 degrees with, once again, no rain.